Hi there, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for this week's Stamp Crate Repeat video for your next stamp. Today I have a very fun project to share with you. I made a little matching game with these super cute little sea creatures and I just think this is so fun for if you have kids or grandkids. I have nieces and nephews so I know they'll love this and the back is just plain so you can play the matching game. You basically turn them all over and shuffle them up and then you just slowly take turns turning over two at a time and you try to find pairs and remember where the matching ones were. So then once you find a match, you get to keep those. So I just thought this was such a cute little matching game with these critters. As soon as I saw them and I saw the new little rounded square die sets, I had to make these. So I'll share with you what I used to make them. First I'll show you them each up close. So here is the cute little octopus. So I made two of each of them so they have a little matching friend and they have pattern paper on them to make it fun and bright. And if you wanted to make it a little bit harder, you could use different colors of pattern paper and color up the little images different. So you could have maybe a red seahorse and a yellow seahorse just to make it a little bit more difficult. So here's the little last one. I love that little guy. So I'll share with you the products I used to make it. First of all, I used the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. I also used my wire snips for cutting apart the dies. This is the stamp set that I used. It's called Totally Gnarly, and this stamp set is just so precious. These images were perfect for coloring up, and I used all the different images that came on this set. The sentiments are really cute as well, and um, I'll definitely use those on a card or another crafting project, but I just thought this was such a fun project to do today with the matching cards. And then I also did use the coordinating dies to trim apart the stamps there. And then I used this new die here. I used the second largest size and you could use any size you needed if you had smaller or larger images. This is the rounded squares with piercing marks. I love how the corners are rounded and these were just perfect for the matching game. I also used this new paper pad called Seize the Day and it has awesome papers in here to match these cute little images and I used a ton of different ones. So let's get started and I'll share with you how I made these little matching cards. So to begin with, I'm just taking my stamp set here. This is the Totally Gnarly, and I'm gonna stamp out two of each of the little images using the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink, and I'm just doing it onto some Recollections 68 pound cardstock, I believe that's what it is. And so I'm gonna do two of the little jellyfish, two of the little narwhals, I love that little narwhal. Then I do two of the little puffer fish, and it was so fun coloring these up. Another fun idea if you wanna make these for like a niece or a nephew or grandchildren or your own children, um, you could stamp them all out and let your um, the person who you're making it for, you could let them help color it. I think that'd be a really fun craft for them to do. They could help color up all the images and then you could make the little matching cards with them. That'd be a really fun little summer craft or um, like a long weekend kind of craft. So I'm going to start out by doing the coloring. I'm using my Copic markers and I'm going to start with RV17 for the little jellyfish. I wanted to do them pink. And I'm going to color each of the little images the same because for the matching game you want them to be the same so that you can easily find them, um, the pairs of them when you're playing. I'm sure most of you guys know the matching game. It's so fun. So I'm just adding now RV14. And I'm kind of doing like an ombre effect on the little jellyfishes. I think they're called tentacles. Then I'm gonna go in with a lighter pink, which is RV13 and blend that all out. And I just love this little jellyfish, it's so cute. And as I was finishing coloring it, I thought that it'd be really cool to do all the different tentacles, different colors, like you could make it a rainbow, it'd look really cute. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the second one and I'm just using my colorless blender because I went out of the lines just a tiny bit there. And if you didn't wanna incorporate all the pattern papers and the cardstock that I use, you could just stamp these right onto the actual matching cards that you're gonna be making and then you could just leave these and not have to die cut them out if you wanted. So that's totally your preference. So now I'm gonna do the little jelly fish there, or the little puffer fish, excuse me. I'm gonna use YR07 and I'm just adding the darkest colors in. And I love these little images because you can color them up any sorts of fun ocean bright colors. Then I'm gonna use the next orange color which is YR04 and I'm just adding the next lightest color. And then I'm gonna go in with YR02 
and there's quite a bit of coloring in this video since I'm doing two of each so if coloring is not your thing definitely feel free to fast forward through this part but I know some of you really really enjoy the coloring so I did leave all of that in for the little um, fins and the tail of this puffer fish I used Y38, Y35, and Y32. Then I'm going to do the next little guy in purple. I'm using V17 and I'm doing this for the little octopus. I thought he would be so cute in purple so I'm just adding the darkest portion there. I love his little pirate hat, it's so sweet. Now I went in with V15 to blend that out. And I'm just giving it a nice blend there. Then for the lighter portion, I'm gonna use V12. That's kind of like the under part of the octopus. And then I'm gonna color all the little circles in in V17. I think that gives it a nice fun pop of color. Next up, I'm just going to do the gray part on the little narwhal. I'm just using C4 and C2. And then I use that C2 for the little skull and crossbones on the pirate hat. Then for the narwhal, I couldn't decide what color I wanted to do him, but I really wanted to make sure I incorporated lots of bright and fun colors. I know a narwhal isn't green, but I just thought for these it would be cute. So I'm using YG06, YG03, and then I use YG00, and I just thought that was cute and playful to have him green. These would also be really cute matching cards to help incorporate like teaching colors and for educational purposes, you could put multiples, like you could put two starfish or two jellyfish, that kind of thing on it. And you could also do all the different colors and then play kind of like a matching game and teaching your children the colors would be really awesome. So now I'm going to do the tummy of the narwhal. I did that in Y35 and Y32. And then for this blue whale, I used B05 and B02. I love the little whale, he is so cute and playful. And then I'm gonna go in with B00 and give that a nice blend. He would be really cute on some tags. These would actually make adorable tags. I can't wait to do some more projects with this stamp set, it's so cute. And then for the tummy of the whale, I just used BG13 and BG10. And I'm just giving that a nice blend as well. Then for the seahorse, I decided that I wanted to do a brighter yellow than the yellow that I did on the puffer fish and the narwhal. So I went with my Y15. And then I'm going to go in with Y13 and Y11. And I love that pop of yellow. And then for the little um, fins and the little tummy, I'm gonna use Y38 and Y35. And then I'm gonna do the same there on the tummy. And then last but not least is the little pirate hat. I was not sure what color I wanted to do it and I finally decided I would do it BG13 and BG10. I thought the blue and purple went nice together. So there are all of my little images and now I'm just gonna take my black jelly pen for all of the eyes. It really just makes them pop. I love using my black jelly pen and it just really brings them to life. So I'm just going to do all of the little eyes and I just colored in with RV11 the little spots on that jellyfish. And now I'm just taking my wire snips and trimming apart the coordinating dies. And 
and I just trimmed apart the paper so it would fit on my die cutting machine and then I'm going to take the coordinating dies and I just have some post-it note tape there. You could use masking tape or washi tape to hold those down and I'm just putting on the coordinating dies so they stay in place. So I'm just running through the first one of each of these. And then I'll show you the little reveal. They're so cute. Here is the little narwhal, the little jellyfish, the seahorse, and the whale. And now I'm going to do the second whale, the puffer fish, and then also that little octopus. And I trimmed out the other ones as well, just off camera. So now I'm going to take this new die here. That's the rounded squares with piercing marks. I love this so much. I'm going to use the second size and I'm going to use this for the background of the little cards. I'm just going to take my wire snips and trim these apart. And I'm just using the second largest size there. You could use whatever size fits the stamps that you're going to be using. And I just took some blue cardstock and I'm going to run that through. This is going to be the backing. You want them all to have the same color backing so that when you put them flat down, you don't know which card you're going to see. So I cut out 12 of those and now I'm taking the Seize the Day paper pad and I'm going to cut out different colors of pattern paper. So I'm going to do two of each of the patterns so that they have a matching pair. So I did two of that blue one, two of this cute water one. I'm gonna do two of this one here. It has some little bubbles on it. This one had some cute little shells on it. I just love this paper pad so much. It's so perfect for nautical and for the under the sea projects and I just love it for summer so much. This one had little seahorses, so I thought it would be cute with the seahorse. And then this one had some cute little coral reef on it. So I've got all of my pieces and now I can start to assemble them. So I'm gonna take the little pieces and this one had the seahorses. So I'm just adhering on my little images. And then this orange one I thought would be cute with the puffer fish. And it was just fun picking out all the little coordinating colors. This one had little shells on it. I put the little whale on this one. I thought that was cute. So you just wanna make sure you keep the pattern papers the same for both of the little images so that you don't have it um, mismatched. So now I'm just gonna do the little narwhals. And then I do the little jellyfish there on that cute blue water. And then on the navy one, I use the cute little octopus. So now that I have all of those, now I can adhere them to the back of the cardstock. And on the one side of the cardstock is blue and the other had a zebra pattern. So I'm just covering up the zebra pattern and I'm just using my ATG gun to adhere that and adding them all on. So I'm just adding each of them and you could definitely laminate these. I do have a laminator, so I am going to be laminating them. I didn't show that part in the video and um, I didn't know if it would make a glare in, in, on the video and make it difficult to see. So I didn't laminate them during the video, but I'll definitely be laminating them after the video so that they can stay nice and um, secure and you don't have to laminate it would totally be fine if you didn't it would stay nice and secure but just if you want like a long time use then I would definitely say laminate them so I've ran out of glue as I was going through there with my ATG gun so I just used my glue stick and I'm just showing kind of how you find the pairs and how you turn them over so there are all the little matching pieces I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how to make this cute little matching game I hope some of you will try making a little matching game of your own and I will link as always all the products in the description box. Don't forget to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please make sure to head over to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel and subscribe and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now!